Lemons are in season. Is this not the largest lemon you have ever seen? I grew it on my own tree and we're gonna use these lemons to make a delicious starchy lemon rice soup. It's one of my favorites and I can't wait to show you how to make it. Here we go. Hey everybody, this is Dylan. The whole purpose of this YouTube video is to show you how simple and easy it can be to maintain a healthy diet. Most people think, oh, it's so complex. What am I gonna do? I gotta relearn everything. But you really don't. It's way easier than any kind of standard American cooking. So let's make a really tasty lemon rice soup. This is a Greek dish, one that I grew up eating in restaurants, but it usually is very salty and probably pretty darn oily too. So we've taken that out. We're making a totally SOS free version. No added salt, oil, sugar. I think it's springy. It's lighter because of the the citrusy flavor. Let's do this soup. Get in here. First up, we've got four carrots. I'm gonna chop these up and throw them. I've got a little Dutch oven right here. You may be wondering, well, don't you need to preheat the Dutch oven before you throw all the vegetables in it? I don't care about any of that. I'm just gonna chop right into my pot. I'll dirty less dishes. Let's chop some carrots. Chop the top off, and sometimes I cut the bottom off if it's a little janky, but I don't bother peeling off the skin. Not because I'm chasing after nutrients and oh, the outside of the carrot is so healthy. I don't care about any of that. I just don't. Uh, uh, peel the skin off because I'm lazy. So let's just chop this into a manageable piece. Chop it in half. I like something kind of like that. I don't like big chunky stewy veggies, but it's all good. Just whatever. Chop up four carrots and throw it in your pot. Next up, we've got four stalks of celery. We're gonna chop them up just like the carrots. Make them the size you want. I'll just take the celery, cut it down the center, and then obviously this part's bigger, so I'll just make a, like another slice maybe. And now you've got some uniform enough cuts. Okay, in the tank. Next up, an onion. Yes, this is a mirepoix. Did I get that right this time, Reebs? Not mirepoix. Mirepoix. Thanks a lot. Just take your onion, remove the skin, chop it in half, slice it, turn it, dice it, we're done. Throw it in the pot and let's move on. For the garlic, you know I like to use that garlic rock, the heavy flat rock, and I can just smash this thing and start to break it up. And we're gonna take whatever, four or five cloves, and then if you take each clove and smash it like that, the skin is gonna just come right off. So simple, look at how easy it is to skin some garlic. Get yourself a garlic rock, you know what I mean? You can chop your garlic, you can mince your garlic. This thing's even easier. If you don't wanna mess around chopping, then just throw a clove of garlic. I think I got this thing at what, Ikea? And you can just squash your garlic in. We'll just throw it in, we'll do the garlic, we'll saute everything up together, it'll be great. But you can easily just use the jar of minced garlic, it's no problem. But what I will say is if you use the mincer, please wash it right away. As soon as this thing dries with all that garlic in there, it's a real pain in the butt to get clean. Public service announcement. Everything in our pot is ready to saute, but I'm just gonna set that aside. I wanna chop up a couple of zucchinis too, but I'm not gonna saute them or they'll just be mushy and completely overcooked. So we're just gonna chop these. I'll take the ends off, slice them down the middle. Again, I'll slice them a few more times vertically just so that they're bite sized. Chop, 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 and we'll throw them in this bowl and we're gonna add it to the soup a little bit later on. All right, y'all, we are at the stove. I've got this thing on medium high heat. We've got a sizzle going. I've got my hot kettle here, so that's super handy. We're gonna be using veggie stock and water in this recipe, or you could use all veggie stock if you want. Want, nothing wrong with that. But I got a hot kettle so I can just add a little bit of water to the pot without cooling everything down. It's a little hack. Use it and just let this thing sizzle. Let it go through like three times. You gotta add a little bit of water. As it dries out and gets a little sticky, you can hear it. It sounds a little different. And then just add a little bit of water, give it a stir, let it evaporate, add a little water. Do it like three, four times. We've got carrots and celery in here, which take a little bit longer to cook than the onion. So it's okay to just be patient. It smells so good. Hey Dill, what if you're in a hurry and you don't want to saute? You can just skip this step. If you want, just put everything from the whole recipe into the pot, heat it up to a boil, reduce the heat, let it simmer for 20 minutes and you're done. You don't have to saute, but I like it. I think it softens everything up nice and it'll stop your zucchini from getting overcooked. But if you like mushy zucchini like Reeves does, then yeah, you I won't do. care. So it's really simple. They're Still crunchy, it's not like cooked and ready, but we are gonna simmer the soup, so we don't need to get it like totally tender yet. The next step is so simple. Just throw the rest of pretty much everything in. There's not a lot of spices needed for this recipe. All this takes is a little bit of oregano. Doesn't matter what kind of oregano. Come on, this is well your world. Then we got a couple bay leaves I'll throw in there. We'll grind in some pepper, just like that. 
as much as you want. All the flavoring is really coming from the carrots, celery, onion, and then you got a little bit of oregano and bay leaf, of course. You can throw in a little bit of my stardust. This is our salt substitute. You can buy it at wellyourworld.com, and it's really tasty, very popular stardust salt substitute. So you could throw in a teaspoon or so, just shake a little bit in, and it gives it a little bit of a salty flavor. And then we're gonna throw in a whole quart of veggie stock. This is the Pacific Foods low sodium version that I really like. Dump it in. If I wanna add more liquid, I'm just gonna use water because there's already a ton of flavor in here and I'm not too worried about it. Also, zucchini's going in now. Give this a little stir. Next up, rice. I'm using cooked brown rice. It's already cooked. If you haven't seen me cook rice, it is the simplest thing ever. I cook all my grains pretty much just the same as I cook pasta. And that's what we've got here. I'm gonna start with about a cup and a half of rice. We'll see if I wanna add more. And remember, the recipe for this is right down below in the description box. Click the link and you can check out the blog post that Reeb's made with the whole recipe and everything. This definitely needs a bit more liquid. I just eyeball it at this point. Bring all these flavors together, let the zucchini cook a little bit, and we rock and roll. I'm throwing in more rice. It's gonna be nice and ricey. At this point, it's just when the zucchini and the carrots are the tenderness that you like, the soup is ready. Pull out the bay leaves and we'll squeeze in some lemon. Ooh, not bad. See, normally in this soup, I squeeze in like three lemons, but these are monsters. Even these two are more than three normal lemons. So I'll just start with these. They're not even gonna fit in this thing. Maybe this big one will fit. Still gonna be tight, but that'll work. And the reason I'm putting the lemon in at the end is because if you simmer it with the lemon in, the lemony flavor goes way down. So I add it right at the end when you've taken it off the heat and you're ready to serve it. So let's start squeezing and see what happens. Oh man, this is a big lemon. And I'm just gonna put the heat on low now, by the way. Oh, it makes such a difference. It's so good, that lemony flavor. I'm putting in more, you're right. And I'm gonna put in a little more pepper. The traditional lemon rice soup is a little creamy, so I'm gonna take my immersion blender and we're just going to blend a little bit. But if you don't have one of these, you could just throw a couple ladles full into your regular blender, blend it up, and add it back in. Are you ready for a taste, Reebs? Heck yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's beautiful. Mmm. Just the way I remember it. This was good. I haven't made this recipe in a little while, I am sorry to say, but it is back in the front of my memory now. I'm gonna post it on my pantry door. And I'm gonna make it, it's adding it to the weekly rotation. I just love this soup. That's all I can say. Right, it's hot. All right, Reeves, you wanna taste this thing? How's it smell? It smells like it's gonna be hot. Mmm. Gosh, I'm a sucker for lemon. <laughs> That is so good. Thanks for watching this video, y'all. Click right here for a playlist with more simple, simple recipes just like this one. And we'll see you on the next video. Are you having a baby or something next month? No, I just ate too much soup. Ah, oh, too much soup. It's that lemon rice, you know what I mean? Yeah. Thanks, y'all. Take care. Bye. Bye.